So when I started my my football academy here in the UK, there was uh, three things that I looked at when I wanted to identify my perfect client to train. So your perfect client will be important that you know who they are so that when you get on a sales call, you'll be able to filter out those types of parents, those types of players that you don't want to work with. I remember when I first started my business, I was at a stage where I was just accepting anyone into the, into my program. Now, that's okay at the beginning because you want you want a attraction, you want attention, you want people to start to know who you are. But as you start to scale, you can only really scale if you're working with your perfect client, right? If you're working with a specific type of client that then will help you to get more of your those perfect clients. So three things I looked at when, when I first started. And the first one was the age of the players I wanted to work with. So for me personally, I like working with players from the ages between 9 and 12 years old. So every time a parent would contact us or send me a text message, send me an email or call me up, first thing I would ask is how old is your child? Once I knew how old that child was, that ticked the first box on my perfect client uh, sheet, which was, okay, right, this parent has a child that is nine years old or they're 10 years old, which means, okay, that's the type of player I want to work with, or that's the type of player I'm comfortable working with. Okay, so that was the, the, the first bit. Now, the second thing I looked for is what are their ability levels? Now, in my academy, I don't work with, shall we say, elite players or players that want to push to become professionals. I would like working with with players that are maybe beginners or intermediate. They're in the middle. So they they might have a little bit of experience, but they're looking for someone to to get them to that next level. Once they're at that next level, then what we do is we help them to maybe find a new program or we help them in the recruitment to get recruited by a a bigger club or a bigger academy. So the first two things I looked for was what what is the age? So what's the perfect age for my client? And what is the ability level? So if if a parent calls me up and says, right, yeah, my child has X amount of experience playing at the club level, Uh, and they're looking for to to get scouted or they're looking to play for a bigger club, then automatically that client doesn't tick my my perfect client box because I want to work with players who are maybe just starting up, so they're beginners, or they're in the middle, so they have some experience, but they want to get better and they want to develop, okay? At the beginning, I was working with some players who were, shall we say, uh, advanced. But what tends to happen, I found with advanced players, is they're constantly looking for different programs. They'll be with you maybe for three months. Then after three months, they're looking for something else. Okay, Because they want to get to that le- next level. They're that, that hungry type of, of, of players. Now, players in the middle, they, they want that as well. But they're, they're looking for more development and just a really fun and, and exciting environment to be in. And if you can provide that for them, then your client retention rate will be a lot higher. Okay, So that's the second thing you want to look for. Now, the third thing you want to look for is where do your client, your perfect clients live? Right? How, how much do they have to commute? How long do they have to commute to get to you? Is it 10 minutes? Is it 20 minutes? Is it half an hour? Is it an hour? Is it an hour and a half? Right, so what is the average distance that your perfect client needs to commute to get to you? And something we're going to touch on in in upcoming videos is once you have a 
consistent location or training facility that you're using, right? How do they, how do that then we filter out clients that maybe are traveling too far and you know that if they're traveling too far, they won't be able to commit on a weekly basis into your, your program. Okay. So three things you want to look for when you're trying to, to create your, your perfect client. And when you're trying to filter out clients that might not, not tick your boxes are number one, what is the age of your perfect client? So which clients do you feel the most comfortable working with? Number two is ability level. Right. Who do you want to work with? Do you want to work with beginners? Do you want to work with intermediate type of players or do you want to work with players that are advanced and looking to get to that, that, that pro level or that pro contract? OK. And then the third is how long is the commute your client is going to make to get to you? Right. Does the parent drive or does the parent have to get onto public transport to get to you? OK, because if the parent doesn't drive, then you have to consider the distance that they are they have to travel to get to you